Welcome to the fourth lab in Physics 185. In today's lab, we're going to repeat a, a real astronomical measurement that was done um, many thousand years ago to give an actual size, a value for the size of your planet. The idea is really quite simple. Aristosthenes, an uh, ancient Greek um, astronomer, noticed that sticks would cast different length shadows at different locations at a specific time of the year. For example, at the summer solstice, at a particular point in Egypt, the sun would pass directly overhead and the stick would not cast any shadow at noon. At other points, the, the sun would not pass um, directly overhead and the stick would actually cast a shadow. And what he realized is he could use geometry to come up with a very simple relationship between this value of that, that length of that shadow and use that to determine the size of the Earth. The idea is really quite simple. If the sun is coming in straight overhead at this particular point here, the stick will not cast a shadow. At some distance away, the sun's light is coming in at this angle, and that will cast a, sh a shadow, forming actually a 90, a right triangle, where the stick forms one side and the length of the shadow forms the other side. What Aristosthenes realized is that the, sh the angle on this triangle exactly measures, uh, matches the angle the angular distance between these two points on the Earth's surface. And then he realized this would result in a very simple um, ratio where the ratio of this length to the actual circumference of the Earth would be the same ratio as this angle to the total angle it takes to go once around the circle, or 360 degrees. So by measuring the length of the shadow at two different points on the Earth's surface, Aristosthenes was able to measure the size of the Earth. While you won't be able to go out and measure the length of the shadow um, at a place where there is no shadow during the summer solstice at noon, we will actually use virtual astronomy to simulate these conditions. I'll show you what your screen will look like when you open up the software. This will give you a picture of the Earth orbiting the sun. Um, the length of the shadow will change depending on the tilt of the Earth's axis over the course of a year. The bottom picture right here shows you the view, the shadow that's being cast from one point on the Earth. The top point right here shows you the shadow that's being cast at another point. Notice for this particular point right here, this is actually representing a deep well. When the inside of the well is lit, the sun is directly overhead. And so in order for you to get an accurate value of the angle that you can use to measure the, the size of the Earth, you need to make sure that you stop this animation when the sun is directly overhead. And you can notice that this flashes just a little bit when that condition is met. I'm going to go ahead and try and stop the animation at the appropriate time. Notice you can slow down the speed of that animation to make it easier to stop at the appropriate time. I missed it. Then we'll just spend a little bit of time watching it. When the bottom of the well lights up, I will stop the animation. Now I'm at a point where the sun is directly overhead and lighting the bottom of the well, and I'm at a point at some other location where I'm going to measure the length of the shadow. To measure the length of the shadow, all you need to do is click in this window, and you will get a large screen view of the sun, the stick, and the shadow. You can show a grid, and to find the angle, what you need to do is you need to count the number of squares representing the, the height of the stick, and you need to count the number of squares to find the length of the shadow. Here's the height of your stick. Here's the length of your shadow. Pay careful attention. The actual middle of the grid runs run through the middle of the stick. So I have one, two, three. This would be about 3.8 squares for that shadow. Once you have the height of the stick and the length of the shadow, you can then calculate the angle using simple trigonometry that's provided to you in the lab manual. And once you have that angle, you can then use the ra ratio of that angle to 360 degrees 
is the same as the distance between those two points to the actual circumference of the Earth. When you go to the check your answers box, it will tell you how far apart these two locations are. It will ask you to report your angle in degrees, your angle in radians, and your radius of the planet in kilometers. Um, conversion factors for radians to degrees and degrees to radians are in your lab manual. Um, the radius of the planet, again, you can find that from the ratio. If your answers check, remember to take a screen capture. You should get a check after each of, each of those values and insert it into your lab report. If you have any questions, please email me. Good luck with the lab.